shut up in the sky. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to participate in something called the blindfold challenge. Um, a lot of like makeup, beauty makeup guru people have done this before and blindfolded to choose their um, makeup supplies. But I wanted to do that, but choose my art supplies basically. And I feel like it's been done before, but there's like lots of variations. Maybe you're just picking colors of maybe like your markers or something, but this was just my art supplies. I put it all, all in front of me on my table and or at least most of it, what I usually go for because there's some art supplies that I don't usually use that I like my acrylics. I don't really like using acrylics, so I don't use the acrylics, even though I have a lot of it. But like I said, it's all out in front of me. Um, this was like a really last minute video, so I didn't really plan anything. There was no like rules that I was going to follow or anything like that. Just that I, I'd be blindfolded when picking the art supplies. And I didn't end up using some of the art supplies and I ended up using bringing in some different like techniques I guess. So there's some watercolor techniques that I use like the alcohol and salt stuff. It, it messes with the water and the paint. Like, so I didn't know if that was something it was kind of supply -y, but at the same time it was more of a technique not our supplies themselves. The main objective that I wanted this to be was to challenge myself and to inspire me to make something. All right, well, without further ado, let's get into the video because I'm just now talking and rambling on. So here's my blindfold. Let's go. I'm sort of catching my hair in the lot. It feels weird not saying anything. I usually work with gouache or watercolors and it's probably something I want to grab for. I don't know how many colors I should choose because you know I can pick all of this but then that's going to be difficult trying to put all the colors in at the same time. I didn't really think this through, I just needed a video idea. Um, let's pick a few brushes. I got a brush cup. Don't want to do a big piece. I don't know. You know what, let's do a big piece. I think that would be fun. So we'll choose the big one. Maybe... Maybe just a little bit of that. It's gonna be like a flat brush. Just in here. Uh, I'll just choose this one. Okay, well, maybe a round brush. I just need to know how many I should probably choose. Four. Four to be. So I usually do watercolor, gouache, and like pencils, so I guess I'll go for pencils next. Pencils. You know what's funny is that I have my eyes closed by doing this. Like, I'm already blindfolded. What's the point? Well, I guess it's more of like if I open my eyes on accident. Alright. I also, these are not sorted in any way, so. That's not good. Oh, probably, they're probably not even going to be in the same color family either. I'm just going to annoy me. Which is like four or five. It's probably good enough. Alright, and then I got some pastels out because I wanted to work with pastels. So I think I'm going to choose those just because I have... Those are pink, so I almost knocked those over. I have stuff like this, but I only have red and 
like a light pink, so I don't, I think I'm gonna want more color options, so I'm just gonna choose this whole thing because I know what it is. Um, washies. I might choose a few washies. I have like a whole drawer of washi. I said I could breathe, but I meant I could see. Okay. These are actually really good because I chose two like polka dots. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this today stuff. I've never actually used that. So. All my colors facing down. Ooh, I did pick some good colors. These are now like go me. Those are the three colors that I chose. A blue, a greeny blue, a green, and a yellow. So they're all analogous, so that's good. I already knew what brushes that I picked, but around a flat. Um, I don't know what you would call these, but they're more like a traditional. Um, I want to say. No, I don't see anything in this. It's just like a. This is from the dollar store. It was a dollar. And it's just so I can spread um, stuff easy. And of course, I picked up all of these. I'm probably honestly not going to use the pink because I have such a blue green. Because um, all these are greens. Greens and blues. Um, and yeah, this is permanent green. This is black. Not like a bluey black. And this is brown. So I think I think I chose some pretty good ones. And obviously I chose this whole thing. So just so that I could have some color choice. Alright. So this piece took forever to come up with because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I haven't been inspired for a little bit, so it was hard to try to come up with something. But I eventually did. Um, I ended up looking on Pinterest, and that's usually what I do if you don't know. I go on Pinterest and find inspiration and put it to the boards. Um, if you guys want, I could record a video of what that kind of looks like and how I get my inspiration from inspiration to... Like, I guess kind of like my planning process, if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, so I use Pinterest for most of my inspiration. Uh, first, as you can see, I'm doing an ink wash here with just the ink. And, it, and then I ended up using the alcohol in there and some of the salt. They kind of look cool. It looks better in the end when I start using gouache, but this was just ink at first. And then the alcohol. And now I'm about to add the gouache. And there it is. So yeah, that went alright. Um, as you can see, I taped the sides so that it still ended up kind of bleeding through, but it did come up with this cool effect that you guys can see when I show the final piece. Um, some things that were kind of bubbling in my mind to maybe put on this piece was maybe I do a fairy of some sort because the background kind of ended up looking kind of foresty. Um, so that's kind of where I was going with this, so I was already looking up models and stuff on Pinterest. Then I came across this really like, beautiful woman on Pinterest. So I decided that maybe I should draw her. 
but I didn't want any details or anything. I wanted it to feel abstract and naturally. So yeah, that ended up turning out really cool, I think. Here I am putting on more gouache. I wanted to do like this weird thing, but then I ended up not liking the checkered feel that I was going for, so I ended up just scribbling it all out later on. Yes, after I found the girl on the Pinterest, I went in with uh, the chalk pastels and I ended up kind of using them as a wash because the ch chalk pastels that I have aren't the best grade and plus I was using it on a watercolor sheet and, or paper and again they're not the best so I end up I do rub it to like see if it will be any better but not really so I ended up to get better color and coverage to wet it and have uh, a more solid look and then later I come in with pencil and I don't do too much detail with the pencil I usually do a lot of detail with pencils but that's for a smaller work this was pretty big so I didn't really want to do too much with the colored pencil plus I didn't really know where to add it since it was all green and stuff and I did add a little bit on the person herself but I didn't end up liking it too much and I mainly just added it around her um, and that's kind of what I did in the planning process of this when I was doing a study of her in my sketchbook I ended up putting the green around her and not on her so that's kind of was my already my initial plan but yeah so here's her hair doing bloom and misery everywhere stormy weather just can't get my poor self together Um, I usually don't do side profiles very much either. I usually do either a th like a third quarter view of a of the face or like profile, not profile, straight on. <laughs> so this is, I mean, I used to do these all the time when I was in high school and stuff because they were literally the easiest to do, but the model that I chose was in the side profile view, so it didn't make sense to try to change it. And then here I'm like adding highlights and stuff because I still wanted to, you know, make it seem like a body formation, but still abstract, you know? Uh, and then later on, you saw that I chose washi, so later on, I come back in with washi and I kind of just strip it on. I don't do anything cool, like put clothes on her or anything like that. I know a lot of people do that with washi. They'll like put it into the clothes or something or the hair or make it look like the face or something. I just put it on and the piece ends up looking very... um deep and meaningful but it really isn't like I don't really have any meaningful thing to say about it besides the fact that I think it just looks really pretty but yeah when I I don't usually work with washi so I had to look at like a lot of inspiration for um, washi and how I could maybe use it to my advantage since 
All right, here's the final piece. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I upload. Make sure you leave a like. It really supports my channel, and I'll see you guys next Monday.